So here's a couple of tips to take better pictures at car show events. Now the car show event may be inside or outside. The event that I was just at was actually on the inside. So here's a handful of recommendations I would, I would make. First, I would recommend if you have a full frame camera, be it DL, DLSR or um, mirrorless camera, I would suggest that you set your ISO anywhere between 100 and say 3200. You can go higher with a, um, a mirrorless camera um, or DSLR camera, but we're gonna just try to get the cleanest picture that we can to do the least amount of um, post-processing work. Now, if you have a crop sensor camera, I would suggest that you, you set your ISO anywhere between um, 100 to 1600. With the crop sensor camera, the higher you go in the ISO above 1600, you start to see more grain. But again, that's according to how the light is. You have to make that call once you're out there. For um, your aperture, it depends on the lens that you have. Recommendation, regardless if it's a prop or full frame sensor, I would recommend that you stay between, um, probably not go below 2.8, anywhere between 2.8 and 5.6. The reason being is that you want to try to blow out the background or have it out of focus so that the car part that you're taking or the car that you're taking per se is in focus and the background is not. Key reason, at these car shows there are a lot of people there. You can't control where people stand or how they are, um, how long they're there or the lighting. It is what it is. If it's outside, the best you can do is, I say the best that you can do. If it's outside, you could try and deep filter. Um, if it's inside, you can use a flash. Now, I would just recommend using the flash at a low power setting, not at TTO. Because all you wanna do really with the flash is kinda of soften some of the shadows. Now, the lens that you use, it really doesn't matter. It can be a kit lens, it can be a prime, it can be a zoom. But regardless of what lens you're using, again, try to keep your aperture as low as your lens will poss possibly allow you to keep it. So say for instance you have a kit lens that's 3.5 to 5.6. You want to keep that lens on the 5.6 or down to 3.5. It's going to change as you change your focal length. So if it's a 18 to 55, at 18 the lens may be a 3.5, but as you zoom out to 55, it's going to automatically change to a 5.6. Sometimes you may want to just zoom with your feet in order to keep a lower aperture setting. But when that um, that wide angle gets too close to the object, you'll notice there's there's some distortion. Watch out for that. The shutter speed. Now this is where you're going to be able to play a little bit um, between the shutter and the ISO as far as what you want um, your image to look like as far as how light it is or how dark it is. Either picture style could be preferred. You're the artist so you have to make that decision. Your shutter speed though, you still have to make sure your shutter is high enough that you don't have shake in your camera as you're holding it. Another tip is we're gonna have to pack a little patience. You paid to get into the event just like everybody else did. So allow other people to enjoy it and you take the time to enjoy it also. Enjoy the cars, some cars you've not seen in a while or maybe you've never seen. Enjoy the car, try to pick the angle that you want. And that will be the next tip. Look at the angle of the car that you wanna take. Now, it's easy just to look at the car and say click, but when you get back, there's nothing special about that picture. And part of the reason is because when we're looking at things, we're looking at things in a live view, constantly moving. The picture is just gonna be a snapshot in time. So what you wanna do is you wanna take some pictures or you wanna frame your picture in your camera at eye level. Sometimes you wanna drop it lower or sometimes you wanna go a little higher and get a first ID. So if I, I'm so hot, I can't look into my camera. 
um, viewfinder, I can actually set or pull out my screen and pull it down where I have a chance to see, okay, is this the angle I want? Or, you know, vice versa, is this the angle that I want? So, use the equipment that you have to the best of your ability. There's no such thing as the perfect um, piece of gear. Ideal, maybe, but you're the most important part of your camera. Say that you want to take the picture with your cell phone. You can absolutely do that. So, I use an iPhone. On the iPhone, you can compose your picture just like any other phone, compose the shot that you want to take, tap on the place that you want to locate or you want it to be in focus, and when the, the, um, the square pops up, you'll be able to adjust the focus, um, not the focus, you'll be able to adjust the, um, the exposure. So pull it down to darken it to give it a little more richer color or raise it in order to lighten up the picture. Again, you're the artist, it's totally up to your personal taste. Okay, so when you're composing your shot, take your time. Think about how that shot makes you feel, that image makes you feel. You know, does it, is it an a image that you know brings back the memories that you had or are the, um, the highlights in the picture, you know, the, the bright areas where the sun or the interior, um, building lights are just reflecting off of the building nicely does it does it accentuate the accent of the curves of the car or the detail of the car what does that picture actually make you feel how does it make you feel so so for instance you can take a picture where you're so small or the image is so small you can barely see what it is but you have captured the whole atmosphere of the room so if that's the look you're going for then fine you you're winning if not if it's the the corner of the headlight and the fender or the emblem on the on the front of the vehicle or a certain um, part of the grill or the bumper if that's what really excites you about the picture take it no one else can tell you that it's not a good picture Matter of fact, if you like it, nine times out of ten, there will be many other people that's going to like the same picture. Um, I met other people with cameras. Um, matter of fact, my cousin and I, we went together. We both had our backpacks with our camera gear in it. Um, no problem. This event was the World of Wheels um, in Birmingham. Um, we've gone to it multiple times and have, have had a blast each time. But guys, just pull your camera out. Take your time, be patient, because there are other people that pay to come in and they're trying to enjoy themselves too. So here's the footage of some of the event. I actually set my camera, my, my camera, I actually set my phone on top of the camera to record what I was actually seeing um, from my perspective, not through the camera, but as the, um, the phone perspective on top of the camera, which was a whole lot lighter for me to hold throughout this whole event. You'll notice I tried not to get um, too many of the um, participants' faces in the, in the um, video, but I did get some.
Yeah. yeah. Look at it. He <laughs> You're fine. Oh. All right, When you gonna decide to bring my car back? You want it? I, I just let you borrow the car for a little while. You ain't brought it back yet. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll get it back to you. No, sir. No, sir. You're fine. Please. No, no, no. You're fine. No, 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 no. You're fine. I was being nosy here in the schedule. Oh, yeah. About four of them in the Montgomery. US 43. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Probably. I'm not really sure. Sir, you're fine. I'm sorry. You're fine. I'm sorry. Please don't want to enjoy yourself. Hey. Yes, sir. If you want to get a step on that trailer, I'll get you whatever you need. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Whatever you think. Yeah, I'm Can I get you up there? Yes, sir. Okay. Wherever, you, wherever you need. Whatever you need. Where you want me to get? Up there with it. Yeah. Now, I don't know what you can touch and what you can't touch. It's mine. I can touch it anywhere I want. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Um, face me, son. A little closer. I'm sorry. Okay. It's the problem. No, you're I'm, fine. Sorry. You're good. I'm so sorry. No, you can take pictures of it, just not with it. They okay. It. But you're good. Okay.
Well, how you doing? Great, man. Let me get the tailor. Sure, you like you to tell me? Okay, but um, okay. So truth be told, I'm not the biggest football fan. Okay, uh, but I know who you are. No doubt okay, not. okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, what you got? Different pose. One more. Right, so, so, so. Oh, thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Why not? Thank you. <laughs> Hey, if you stayed around and you're still watching the video, I want to take this moment to let you know how much I really truly appreciate the support. So come on, pull out your camera and start capturing those memories. You got this. God bless.